What's up, y'all? I'm Rich Slayton from Clash Royale League, and today we're bringing back one of the most requested features on my channel. This is Inside the Play, where we dive deep into some of the best moments from Clash Royale and Clash Royale League in particular. Before we get started, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, get notifications, don't miss videos, and of course, use code RICH in the Supercell shop for all your purchases. And if you don't want to use my code and support me, use someone's code. Support somebody. It's a nice thing to do, and it super helps out. Okay, enough of all that. Let's jump into today. Today's episode. I am super, super excited for this one. It's two channel favorites, Igor versus Lapakati. Now, this might not be the exact matchup that we'd hope for. You know, the stakes aren't as high. Liquid's basically out. Of course, this matter matchup does matter a lot for Space Station Gaming. They're still in not just the playoff hunt, but that World Finals birth hunt. But with all the pressure that's mounting for Space Station, check this out. Lapo is laughing as this game opens. What is he possibly laughing about? Of course, he and Igor are good friends. They play together all the time. They're on stream together. Maybe he's just happy to be playing his friend, right? Or maybe, wait, wait, what is that? That's a, that's a nice spirit, but didn't he already play the, the heal spirit? Double spirit, wait, he's doing heal spirit, ice spirit? Yeah, that's right. Double spirit for La Picotti, and he is laughing, throws the wow out, and Igor throws out a bunch of wows and crying faces. Why? Because he's getting trolled. Lapo is playing his own deck against him. My new video about 2.8 RG cycle. Retweets and likes appreciated. That's my best Russian. Don't ask me for better. So Lapo is trolling Igor with his own deck, and that's why he's giggling so much. Now check this out. Left-hand side of the screen, Royal Hogs, Heal Spirit come in, Fireball Log in response, and even trade six for six. We're going to see this a whole lot, right? This is kind of a theme of this matchup. We'll talk more about this later. And check this out. This delivery comes down, and Lapo grins again. Why is he so happy right now? Well, because he knows that this is the... Royal Delivery Earthquake deck, meaning no Barb Barrel and no Log, meaning the three cycle decks that his deck, or Igor's deck, relies on, have no response. Heal Spirit, Ice Spirit, Skeletons can do whatever they want, and that's a huge benefit for Lapakati. This is a good matchup for Lapo, but we're gonna see how he manages these micro interactions. It's very cool. Back to the right-hand side of the screen now. It's another five for five trade, another even trade. The Royal Hogs taken care of by Fireball and the Ice Spirit. So nice and clean so far, nothing fancy happening between these two. And this first phase of the game is gonna be a lot of management from these two. La Picotti does have good answers consistently. Check this out. He used that Ice Spirit, by the way, earlier, which frees up the log. So one of the cool things we'll see with La Picotti is varying how he plays defense against these Royal Hogs to maximize the use of those four cycle cards, the three one elixir cards, and of course that two elixir log, which is so critical in this matchup. So hopefully we'll get to see more pieces of that. Of course, you see a little bit more work on the right-hand side. And let's go ahead and look at that one more time more closely. He's got one, two, three units already on the board, all of those going that direction. So what's he do over here? He throws, oh yeah, high skeletons to take care of the heal spirit and deal with the pigs on the right-hand side. Six for six, even trade again. All these different combinations of stuff that he uses to play the defense against the Royal Hogs and keep things pretty even so far. And so now we see the first Royal Giant come out for Lapakati and go to the right-hand side of the board. And check this out, the heal spirit in response to the Fisherman to, I guess, pull the Fisherman to his side and like a look at what Lapakati does. Fireball, skeletons, even trade. But we're going to go ahead and back that up because that heal spirit that Igor played was actually much more impactful than you might think on the overall flow of the game. So check this out. The heal spirit comes down to pull the fisherman in, which really wasn't a necessary move on Igor's part. But what it means is the heal spirit is no longer available for his royal hogs push on the left hand side. So now Lapakati can go in with the fireball and skeletons, make that an even five for five trade on that side, and he's not having to play the log, which means the log can decimate this defense on the right-hand side. Push back and reset that hunter in time for the fisherman to completely blow it up. And of course, the fisherman dismantles the rest of this. All the same time, the skeletons on the left held up that push long enough for him to cycle back and use a nice little ice spirit skeletons combo to clean up the damage, the danger on the left-hand side. Missed the fisherman by just a tad, did Lapo there, but then gets the musketeer down to clean it up. And now we go in to the next phase of the game. And this is where things begin to change drastically. This musketeer is facing up against, well, 
three troops, pretty even elixir, but then you see all the stuff that Igor has on the board over there, right? Fisherman, a little bit of a hunter, and the, and the royal recruit up in front. But check this out. The royal giant gets played high, and it totally bamboozles the fisherman who was targeting the musketeer. At the exact same time, look at the defense on the left-hand side. Lapakati spends three elixir, a log and skeletons, to defend against the five elixir royal hogs, which means that he now has a two elixir advantage that he can use to punish on the right-hand side. And this is where everything changes. Remember that musketeer he protected? Protect her again. And now Lapo has 13 elixir on the board, and Igor has less than half of that total. He plays the delivery high, Musketeer still on the board, and check it out again. Good fisherman management from Lapakati to prevent, protect that Musketeer one more time. And then a nice little cheeky pre-log comes out. Yep, that's right for those Spear Goblins on the right-hand side. And this is a massive, massive push. Look at the Elixir Advantage coming out of this, right? You're going to see Lapakati in a moment here play the Musketeer on the right-hand side. He's got a Musketeer, so he's essentially up three or four Elixir. Now again, talk about this on the left-hand side. Just spending four elixir. Lapo in two sip, um, subsequent exchanges has given up a ton of damage on the left hand side in order to give himself an elixir advantage which turns into that's right the victory three elixir by giving up that hp to get this win you see lapo is absolutely pumped up to close things out for space station gaming this was big this was an overall big moment for lapakati of course trolling igor with his own deck is a huge thing and he's kind of giggling about that one but also, again, the using HP as a resource, and Lapo did that perfectly in this game. Twice in those final sequences, he was able to get the advantage by giving up damage on the left-hand side, by defending cheaply, and then turning that into offense, right? And that's a key point of playing Clash Royale, knowing how to, uh, as we maybe see on the broadcast a bit, min-max, give the minimum amount on one side to get the maximum benefit on the other. So you see Lapakati giving up damage and turning it into offense to get the win in a very fun one. That's it for today's episode. It's a short one, guys. I hope you enjoyed kind of diving into this really neat, interesting match between two good friends and two top-tier players in Lapakati and Igor. If you haven't yet already, subscribe to the channel. And of course, uh, I will see you back here next time for more esports action for more best of fives for more inside the play right here on my channel i'm rich slayton and this is the best place for clash royale esports